Hi, my name is Sarah Ryan and I work here at St. John's as an administrative assistant for the faith formation and I was invited to come and talk about the fruit of the Spirit, love. When I was asked to talk about love, I was thinking about the kind of love that it comes as a romantic love, which is pretty much what we think when we talk about love. Um, but then, as I was looking in my mind and talk about the fruit of the Spirit, about love, is mostly the love that we give to one another. The love that it can be expressed as the same love that Jesus showed when he was here, as the, when he did the ultimate sacrifice that died for us on the cross. So thinking about that is, how can I express that kind of love, the love that Jesus gave to all of us? And it's just in those little things that you do every single day, the love that you show to your neighbor, the love that you show to your kids, the love that you show to the people that you work with. I have a quote from Mother Teresa, which is the one that I love. And she mentioned when she was interviewed once that it said, when I died and I go to heaven, God is not gonna ask me how many good things you have done. He's gonna ask me how many good things you have done with love. Um, that's the love that is, comes from the fruit of the spirits. It's the love that it can be, that doesn't have to be extraordinary, that it can be in those little things that you do every single day. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. Let love be sincere, hate what is evil, hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Breathe into me, Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may be holy. Move in me, Holy Spirit, that my work may be holy. Attract my heart, Holy Spirit, that I may love only what is holy. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, that I may defend all that is holy. Protect me, Holy Spirit, that I may always be holy. Amen.